Microsoft Link puts everyone you need right at your fingertips so you can connect with others and make a call with a simple click. Link makes calling others a natural part of your work. For example, let's say I want to call Diane. I talk to Diane often, so she's in my frequent contacts list. When I hover over Diane's name, the call button appears. I can click the call button to make the call. Hi, Ken. Hey, Diane. So I noticed you haven't accepted the invitation to my meeting tomorrow. Are you planning on being there? Sorry, I forgot to accept. Yes, I'll be there. Oh, good. See you then. Link makes it easy for me to stay in touch with others and for others to stay in touch with me. Sean is another person who is part of my everyday communication. Problem with Sean is I never know where he's going to be. But it's not a problem really because with Link I can hover over the call button and click the arrow to see more calling options. Sean's made his mobile number available to me so I can just click it to call him. Hopefully he's not driving just now. Hey Ken. Hey Sean, you're not driving are you? No, I just got out of a meeting and I'm walking back to my hotel. Oh good. What's up? Do you happen to have your slides ready for the presentation or you need more time on that? Yeah, they're finished. Uh, let me just get back to my room and look them over one more time. I'll send them to you in about 15 minutes. Okay, so about three hours then? Yeah, that's funny. Are you finished? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'll send them to you in about 15 minutes. Yeah, that'll be fine, Sean. And just so you know, I didn't mean anything by that last little... Man, sensitive. Well, let's go on. Making decisions, especially over email, can sometimes take a long time but not with Link. I can get my coworkers into a conference call in just seconds. Now watch this. I'll hold down the control key and select a couple of people, Manjinder and Peter. Then I'll just right click and start a conference call. Hi Ken. Hey Ken, what's going on? Hey guys, we need to decide where to take the folks from Litware to lunch tomorrow. How about Northwind Traders? Northwind Traders, is that the new place in the town center? Yeah, I've been there once. It's good food and it's pretty close by. What do they have? I think it's mostly Greek and Italian. I had a really good pizza there a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it sounds okay. Uh, is the company paying? Well, of course. It's not just us. We're taking out real people. That sounds good to me. Me too. Want me to call in reservations? No, I'll do it. So we'll just go straight over there after the meeting. Okay then. Sounds good. Link makes it easy to find someone fast by typing their name in the search box. Watch, I need to find Jim Glynn. I'll type in his name and Link displays him in the search results. Now I'll just hover over his name in the search results to call. But I've noticed that his status shows that he's in a meeting just now. Not a good time to call. Sometimes it's a good idea to send someone an IM before you call them, especially if their present status is busy or in a meeting, like with Jim. So rather than call Jim right away, I'll send him an IM to make sure he's available to talk. Then I'll ask if it's okay to call. Hey, Ken. Hey, Jim. So how do you feel about going to lunch tomorrow with Litware? You paying? <sighs> Does it matter? Yes, I'm paying. I mean, not me, but the company. All right. So where are you guys going? Ah, uh, that's that new place, Northwind Traders. You know where that is? Is it that new place at the town center? Right. I'll just add you to the list. Can you meet us there at noon? Yeah, I'll see you there. All right. Yep. Yep. Link makes your communications more natural. Just like in real life, you can add people to a conversation by just dragging them in. I forgot to ask Jim if he wanted to invite Alan. I'll call him back right now. You again? Yeah. Hey, do you mind if we invite Alan to the lunch tomorrow? No, I don't mind. Alan's good with customers. They like his accent. Okay, hold on. I'll drag him in. Hey, Ken. What's up? Hey, Alan. So, a few of us are going to lunch tomorrow with Litware at Northwind Traders. You want to join us? Oh, sure. What time? Well, we need to get there about noon, so I thought we'd leave here about quarter till. I can swing by your office and pick you up if you want. Wow, transportation too? Fantastic. See you then. Great. 
There are some great new features in Link 2010. My favorite? Click to call directly from a web page. I can Bing Northwind Traders, and then when the page comes up, just click the call button right from the web page. Another feature I like is entering the phone number in the search box. For example, if I need to call a number that's not in my contact list, I can just type the number and then click the call button to place the call, like this. And I can even cut a number from a document or a web page or wherever and paste it into the search box to place the call. Now that's pretty snazzy. With Link, there are many ways to start calls without leaving what you're working on. Like most people, I spend a lot of time in Outlook. Alan has sent me an email about Litware and I'd like to talk to him before the lunch tomorrow. Not only can I see that he's available from Outlook by looking at his presence icon, I can also give him a call by clicking and then clicking the call icon. Hi Ken. Hey, so I got your email. Um, at the lunch tomorrow, do you mind mentioning the new videos we're producing? They'll be interested in the schedule. Sure, I can do that. Fantastic. See you tomorrow. With Link, you're always connected. And I am too.